In this quick video, I'm going to show you two different ways to create a single needle cover stitch. One way is going to be by using the default top stitch that is in CLO. The other way is that we use the existing ISO 406 two needle bottom cover stitch to start with. I'm going to add this one to my library so it's here when I'm ready to use it. In both cases, I am going to select the top stitch and use the seam line top stitch function. If I do this with the default top stitch and place my seam line top stitch here, I can see the top stitch is now in the 3D window. I like to change a few things here so I can see this better. One is the thread thickness. The other is the color of the thread so that it stands out. So there is our single needle on the front. To have the back part of this stitch, I'm simply going to select the top stitch and I'm going to add one more stitch to the stitch count. This is going to add a second stitch here on the front. But what I can do is I can change this to now be an overlock stitch and then I can change the color and down at the bottom I can change the configuration from front to back. I can adjust the width of the cover stitch or the offset of the single needle stitch on the front so that these line up a little bit better. I can also, if I would like, add the 3D option for both the front and the back if I would like that my stitches to have the 3D option. The other option is to use the existing two needle bottom stitch. Again, I will use my seam line top stitch and put this into place on this other seam. What you'll notice here is that when I change the color so we can see it, it has gone over the, the stitch itself or the seam itself, but what it's done is it's put two stitches on either side of the seam. To change this, all I would need to do under the tab for the first stitch is come to the bottom and change the number of lines from two to one. I can then do the same thing and adjust the offset, or I can adjust the width of the second stitch, which is on the back, to be something a little larger so that the back stitch aligns with the front stitch. You will notice that the cover stitches are a little bit different on e each one so it's really up to you how you would want to do this and again if you decide to turn on the 3d options here you can do that once you've made these changes you can simply click the save option here to save this out and call it a single needle top cover stitch